Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to connect Airtable to Squarespace in 2023. Of course, Airtable is a versatile database management platform and integrating it with your Squarespace website can enhance your data organization and presentation capabilities. So, in this guide, we'll walk you through the essential steps to get started with this integration. So, make sure to stick by, let's dive right into this video and simply, let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. So first, we'll have to go and create an Airtable account if you don't have one already. To do so, go and open whatever browser we're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser. And of course, in your case, you can use any other browser that you could possibly have. Once you open that browser, make sure to go to the URL section here and simply you will have to type there, table, and hit the enter button. Once you do so, as you can see, make sure to click on this first link, which is Airtable platform to build next gen apps. Make sure it's not sponsored. Once you click on it, as you can see, this will take you right away to the home screen or main screen. If you don't know much about this website, make sure to scroll down, read more information about it, and familiarize yourself with the website. And of course, if you're interested about uh, the pricing of this uh, site, as you can see, I'll just click on it here. And as you can see, they have four plans. You can pause the video and check all the features that comes with each plan. So of course, if you have an account, you'll simply have to go to the top right corner and click on sign in to log into your account. But if you don't, of course, you'll have to call and click on sign up for free. Once you do so, you will be taken to another page. And from here, you'll be able to sign up with Google if you don't want to get through all the boring steps of creating or even logging in your account. As you can see, you will be able to log in with Google. So for me, I'll just create an account with Google here. As you can see, as you can see I'll just click on continue with Google. I'm just going to choose my account here. And this will simply create my account right away. As you can see now, what are your team on? So basically, you'll have to answer some uh, few questions. And you can, of course, skip all of them if you don't want to. So I'll just go with other personal. And as you can see here, uh, get some more in your team. If you have, you can simply go and add them. If you don't, click on skip. And as you can see, you will find yourself at their home screen or at your dashboard of your account right now. And of course, as you can see from here, you'll be able to start your first workspace by starting from scratch or simply quick upload something. And of course, you can even start with templates and basically do all the, the things that you want that you want to embed into your Squarespace website, whatever it was. Now, what you'll need to do simply go and open a new tab, go to squarespace.com and hit the enter button. And once you do so, of course, again, you'll be taken to their home screen or main screen. So squarespace.com. And of course, make sure if you don't have an account to scroll down and make yourself an account if you don't have one. And of course, scroll down to read more information about the website. And you will find a login option if you don't have an account instead of my icon here. But if you don't have an account, you'll have to go and click on get started. For me, as long as I have my account, I'll simply just access my account dashboard. And I'm going to be here on my dashboard. Now I can access whatever website I want. So now let's just go back to our table. And as you can see, once we are here, we'll basically have to click at the top right corner here at our icon again, or our, our account, and simply go down and click on integrations. Once you do so, as you can see, you will find here connected accounts or third party integration. So go to connected accounts. And as you can see, you've guaranteed our table access to these accounts. So as you can see, no connected accounts at the moment. But now what we'll need to do is simply go and click on plus connects a new account. Once you do so, as you can see, you'll find a lot of things here. So let's just go through all of them and let's see if we are going to find the Squarespace. As you can see, we've, we did not found Squarespace. That means you will not be able to connect or do the integration from Airtable itself. So what you basically will need to do is try to do it now from the Squarespace. So go to Squarespace, go to whatever website you have as example, and go to this left panel. Uh, what you Once you see it, click on settings and here scroll down a bit and click to connect to the accounts, click on connects accounts. And here you'll have to look for Airtable. And as you can see, there's no Airtable. So go to all extensions instead, and here you will have to look for Airtable again. And as you can see here, you'll find no results. That means that you cannot connect Airtable to Squarespace directly or with the regular way. So basically here, let's just go to Airtable again, and let's just start with the template like as an example. And let's just wait a bit. So get started here. And I'll just do like a simple thing if I can and skip all of that and basically i'll just let it like that and now i'm going back and let's see if i have it 
already there so here just close this and now we'll have to simply go and make all the customization that you want on your project to try to embed that on your website so basically just go back to your dashboard example by simply uh, let's just go back okay let's just go again to our table com go back to it and of course we'll have to sign in so once we click on sign in, as you can see, we'll find my our projects right here. So as an example, let's just go and click on the three dots on any of those projects to try to integrate it with our Squarespace. So what we'll need to do is simply go here and go and click on share base. So go and click on three dots on any project that you have and click on share base. And as you can see from here, you will be able to share that base through email or by link we need to have it by link and simply you can even create a shared link to the whole base example so let's just go and click on that and here of course you can allow any email address or only some email address of course i'll just go and cl click on create a link and as you can see i have a link here so make sure to go and copy that link then go back to your squarespace website now once you go to your squarespace website we make sure to click on websites and go to any page that you would like to integrate that Airtable into it for your customers or for your contact to access your or to view your project that you made on your Airtable. so as an example i'll just go here to blog to blog page and simply i'll go and add a new page as an example, we'll just go and click on this plus button here. And as you can see, we'll have it here. So I'll just type here on the title, I'll type like uh, our, let's just type here, our uh, air, or let's just do a space first of all, and then air. Table. So I don't know why it keep like, uh, quitting uh, alone so air table as an example air table and let's do a space or a table projects so when you stop typing it's like remove you so it does not matter so here we'll simply have to write this url so copy that as we said and go here and paste it right here and simply make sure to save everything and once you click on exit you'll find it right there and there you are there you have it you can even add it as a button as an example you can click oh make this our uh air table projects as a button and once they click on it they will be taken right away to see your products and etc and that's how you integrate your air table to squarespace website so that's going to be it for me today thank you for watching of course if you reached this point of this video congratulations you have successfully connected your air, air table to your squarespace website in 2023 so thanks for watching and i will see you of course in the next video